Sorry, there's a lot of background noise. Um, and <laughs> I kind of forgot it a little bit, but I will play what I remember. <laughs> um, I it later. So I think um, you, the beginning is really good. You guys kind of have that one down. Um, and then it's just the second half. So <clears throat> let's just kind of review the second half really quick. And then we're going to go to our rhythms that we did. <clears throat> OK, so <clears throat> I've got to move my camera up higher because it's supposed to be played high. OK. A little bit more clarity from. <laughs> All right, here we go. <clears throat> so, we're going to start um, the second half. So, <clears throat> we'll have already played this much. Okay, so. Everybody can play that far, right? Raise your hand if you got that far. Okay. Okay, so then here we go. This is the second part. <clears throat> okay, so it's all, it's a C. C, um, uh, I'm trying to see if I can make it. That's not blurry. <clears throat> it's a C major chord. Seriously, are you kidding? Where do I make this? Okay, so it's like it's a C major chord, and the order is going to be middle, top, then you're going to go to the bottom, and then back to the middle. So it's like you go from the middle to the top, then to the bottom to the middle. Only playing the chord fingers, okay? Then we're going to play two, one. <clears throat> and then this is when we're going to cross over our uh, two finger over to the A, right there. So now we're in the G position. Okay, so it's going to go. So let's have everybody play that far for me. Do you want to go ahead and play that, Emma? <clears throat> and you can do, um, yeah. Awesome. Okay, and Liz? Okay. Um. So then here's the next part. So we're now in our G position, and we're going to just do the beginning part that we did before. Let's see. Where are we at? Yeah, okay. Okay, so that, that's just repeating the beginning part. So G, and then you just extend your fingers up. So you skip the one note and put all your fingers up one note. And then you're going to do three on the C, so up a fourth. And then you're going to go pinky, middle, pinky, four, three. And that's exactly like the beginning. So you just repeat the beginning part. <clears throat> Does that make sense? OK. You can go ahead and play it again, Emma, for us, even though I know you can play it. <laughs> Just, you can start at the. 
and so can I do. Oh, oops, was I muted? Oh, uh, no, I, you're good. I could hear you. <clears throat> it just lagged. Awesome. Perfect. Okay. Um, let's see, Liz. And then, Corinne, did you have a question? Uh, yeah. Um, is this A1 or A2? This, we could call it a, oh, the, like, arrangement? This is arrangement three. Okay. <clears throat> hey, Liz. Okay. <laughs> so... Perfect. Okay, <clears throat> so um, I think I, I want you guys to really get the top hand down really well before we put the bottom hand to it because um, it's going to be really hard <laughs> if we don't what? have the top down down the top hand down really good. So <clears throat> um, we're going to go to our rhythm. If we have time, maybe we'll work on the first half with the top hand, um, but we're going to go to our rhythms really quick. So, all right. <clears throat> Um, I guess I can share my screen. So what I want you guys to do is get your sheets of rhythm out and put them in front of you with a piece of, with a pencil because we're gonna we're gonna do a lot of correcting. Okay, so, <clears throat> um, and we're gonna start with. So I did get Holden's as well. Um, his was good. There was nothing wrong with Holden's. So. <clears throat> But um, a lot of you guys did did venture out and try to do um, the what do they call uh, med or er, rest rests. But uh, we need to explain a few things because I don't think you guys understand it. So here we go. This is I think this is Emma's right. <clears throat> okay. So make sure you have your rhythm um, in front of you. And a piece of paper and a pencil. Okay, so going along here, this is this first measure, the second measure, this one's good. Um, and wait a second. Hmm. This is looking very similar to last time's on here. <laughs> Did you just add rests from your to your last uh, rhythm sheet? Because it looks like either your sister draws exactly the same, <laughs> or yeah, it looks like you did. Okay, so because um, I may, might have forgot. Okay, so um, even even doing that though, you would have to. You can't just add rests to um something that's already done because rests are notes. They're, they equal things. So like, for example, over here, um, this, you have a quarter note and a quarter note, and then you put a quarter note rest, but your time signature is two, four. So you could do, you could have done this, but you have to erase one of the quarter notes in it. Does that make sense? Because this rest, it is a quarter note itself. It's just a silent quarter note. Does that make sense? So if you go back and um, add rests to your existing rhythms, you actually have to erase some stuff. So there, it's not it's not like uh, ties where you can just add the ties after you do the rhythms, um, because these are actual uh, like values. 
okay? So that one you would have had to erase that if you want to keep that. But that rest does look very pretty. You wrote it right. <laughs> um, okay, the same thing for this one right here. If you add a 16th note rest, then you have to take away one of the 16th notes. Does that make sense? So just one of those, not a whole four sets, just one. And that would work, so. Um, okay, so let's go to <clears throat> this one. Um, whose is this? Okay, Corinne's. All right, so um, we have the first thing here. Um, who, can anybody tell me why this doesn't work? Or, how, or actually, can anybody tell me how many counts, how many quarter note beats are in this measure right here? Emma, go ahead. Well, um, I can't tell you that, but, I, but um, that one's dotted. Yes, this one is dotted right here. Um, a dotted, this works, this, is, this equals one beat, so that works. This one's two. Yep, go ahead, Liz. It has five beats. Yes, it has five beats. How does the how rest is worth two beats? Uh-huh, yep. So Corinne, how could Corinne do this and actually make it work? What's one thing that she could get rid of to make it work? Go ahead, Liz. Uh, I'm not sure what she could get rid of, but she could, like, change out the rest for a quarter note rest. Yes, so either you can change the rest to a quarter note rest, or you could get rid of these right here, because that equals a quarter note. But you just have to get rid of one count, okay? Does that make sense, Corinne? Okay. All right, so this one right here looks good. This one looks good. That looks good. Okay, this right here. Um, can anybody tell me why this doesn't work? If it was different notes, it would work. So I don't know if you got confused on the value of the notes. Um, <clears throat> I guess, let me ask you this, Corinne. What's the name of this kind of note? Is it a quarter note, eighth note, or sixteenth note? It's a sixteenth note. Okay. So I just want to make sure you understand that it's a sixteenth. Okay. So can anybody tell me how much how many beats are in this measure? We know there's one, two. How many beats does yeah, go ahead, Liz. Uh the rest and the sixteenth note together would make a one eighth note. So there's like two and a half notes. Yeah, so two and a half beats in here. Okay, so Corinne, if you change these notes to being eight notes, so if you took off this flag and took off that flag, it would work. You could totally do that. Does that make sense? But this is only half of a beat because it's only two sixteenth notes. And to make a full beat, you need four sixteenth notes. So you could either, um, change the notes to to eighth notes by taking away the flags, or you could add two more um, 16th notes, so either like notes or either rests, whatever you want. But then there has to be two more, there has to be a, another half beat. Or you could also just put an eighth note in there because that would be a half beat itself. Does that make sense, Corinne? <clears throat> okay, so this right here, you did this right. See, th that one's one beat two beats three so that works good okay that one's good that's uh except for let's see this is is this in here is that rest part of this measure okay so why does that not work can anybody let's see Corinne, Corinne do you know why that doesn't work because you can't have a rest on the four because there's already four counts and the rest counts for... Yeah, exactly. So how many beats would be in this measure right now? So there's four plus how much is this? There's, is this <laughs> what kind of, a, what kind of a, a rest is this? Is this a half note rest or a whole note rest? Whole. Whole, yep. And how, much, how many beats does a whole note have? Um, four. Uh-huh. 
So if you have a whole note and then a whole note rest, how many beats do you have in a measure? Nine. Eight, I'm sorry. Yeah. <laughs> okay, you have eight, exactly. So that would be two measures worth, right? So you could, if you could make this work if you put this in a different measure. And that, like if you put this one over here and took out that, you could do that. Okay, that works. Um, those, those ones work, that works. One, two, three, four. Okay, this one doesn't work though. Can you tell me what's wrong with this one? How many beats are in there? Go ahead, Emma. There's five beats. Close. Six. It's less than five. So we have, this is one, two, three. This is four. What is this equal? Uh, eighth note. Uh-huh, and how much eighth. is an eighth note? It's half, right? Eighth note's half a beat. So this is um, four and a half beats. Um, yes, Liz, do you have a... Okay, yeah. Okay, so four and a half beats. So if if uh, Korean wanted to keep the rest, what would you have to do, Korean, if you wanted to keep the rest in there? What would you have to take out? You have to take out half of a beat. So how can you take out half a beat? The dot on the first one. Um, the dot on the first one is actually a whole note, a whole beat. Oh. Yes, Emma, what could Corinne do? Oh, <laughs> you turned off your camera. Um, someone, call, someone called, so it, yeah. Uh, but you could take the, I think, I think it's a quarter note. This one right here? Yeah, the quarter note, and you could take the end off. Okay, yeah, and it's called an eighth note. Exactly, you could take this this um, eighth note off because you need to get get rid of something. So you could get rid of one of these eighth notes, and then you could keep that one. Does that make sense? Because an eighth note is a half. Okay, right here we also have a problem. This one is. Let's see, Kryn, can you tell me how many are in this measure? How many beats are in this measure right now? There's five. Almost. Six. six. Yep, there's six. Two beats here, two beats here, and two beats here. So you'd have to get rid of one of these guys because you can only have four. Okay, this one's good. That's good. That's good. That's good. That's good. That's good. Okay, what about this one right here? Can you guys see that one? Yep. Emma, go ahead. Ow. Oh. Um, well, it has, it has two and then two and something and no. It has two and something. Uh-huh. Go ahead, Liz. Um, the rest is worth another, uh, quarter note, um, so it would have four counts in it, but it's a two-four count. Yeah, how many counts would it have in it, actually? It's a two-four, but how many counts does it actually have? Not four. Um. You're right, this is another beat. This is one beat. Oh, <laughs> it's, um, it's three and a half. <laughs> It's not three and a half. It's Wait. three. It's three. Yep. Oh. It's quarter, quarter, two. That's three. Okay, so you'd have to get rid of one of these. Either these two eighths, a quarter, or the rest. And that would make two. Okay, good job, Kryn. That was really good. Hopefully, um, it's kind of hard when you add rests in. So you have to remember that rests are like notes. They equal... The same thing notes do, it's just that they're quiet and silent. So just because they're in there doesn't mean, you know, that the silence doesn't count for something. It does. So the silence has to be a part of the measure. So, okay, good job at, at um, taking a, um, a try on the rests. Okay, here is um, Liz's, I assume. <laughs> okay, this first part is good. That part's good. She's even got some dotted 
some kind of tricky dotted ones and they're good. Um, that's good, 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 that's good, that's good. Ooh, this is tricky. Okay, let's see. Yeah, good job. Let's do a good job on this one. Okay. <clears throat> let's see, that's one, two, three, four. Okay, I had to think about it. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Wait, one, two, three, four. Yep, okay. <laughs> one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Yep, good job. Okay, Liz didn't actually have any. Um, I must not have gotten to yours to look at it. Um, okay, so we could actually play Liz's. Let's see if we can do it. Who wants to try to play Liz's rhythm? Dun dun. <laughs> do you want to try it, Emma? <laughs> it's kind of hard. <laughs> what if we split it up? I'm going to have. I'll try. Okay, you'll try it, you'll try But I'll be very bad at it, I will. <laughs> okay. I think we're, I'm going to have you guys split it up. So I'm going to play, let's see, there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. So yeah, Emma plays six lines, and then Corinne, you can play five. So one, two, three, four, five, six. Two, three. Oops, close. One, two, Three and a. Uh. Oh, one, two, three and a four. Yeah, it's ever you don't say that. So, one, two, three and a. Uh. Oh, one, two, three and a. Uh. One, one and a uh, two and three and one, one and two. You could say and one and one and two. Is ever don't play that and you'll just say one and then shh for that one. One and two. Yeah. Two. E. Two. E. And. And that one you don't play that and you just say and. Two e. Two e and a. Uh, and then you uh, say you play the uh. Yeah. The uh right there. Two e and uh, Three, four, three, four, and then that one was the, yeah, yeah. So it's a quarter note, so this is a number. One. One. But don't three, play it. <laughs> two and three, four, one. Awesome. Okay, let's see. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, that's as far as we'll have you go. Okay, Corinne, let's see if you can pick it up from here. <laughs> I'll help you out because you got lots of rests on this one. <laughs> so here we go. Go ahead and unmute yourself. Okay. Okay. One. Uh. So then that one's going to be, you're just going to say two, but you won't play, and then you'll play okay. and. Two and three and four. One, two. Uh-huh. 
four. Good job, that was great. Uh, one, two, three, four. One, two, th wait, that's only two, right? Yeah, that was right. Uh -huh. yeah, that was one, two, three, and four. And, sorry, four and, um, one, two, wait, no, I'm supposed to hold it, right? Yeah, you're gonna hold it. One, two, three, four, one, and, wait, no. No, just one, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, oh, wait, four, and a, one, one, two, one, sorry, one, and one, and Oh, this one, I, there was one, I didn't catch this. Oh. <laughs> Let's see, this is in four, four. Okay, yeah, this one right here. Um, it needs another half, so there needs to be like another eighth note right there to finish off this being two counts. So you can just skip this measure. You can go <laughs> one, two, three, wait, two, e. Yeah, so you're gonna say, you're gonna play two, then you're gonna say, two, and, e, and, uh, um, so you're gonna say, E and and then play a. Uh. Two. two e and wait two e and a uh, or is it? There's only two notes you play, right? So it's gonna get yeah. Go. Two two, two e and oops two e and a. Uh, there you go. Three four one and two. Wait. Two, E, and a, three, four. Okay, that was, that hard. was really hard. <laughs> yeah, Liz did some hard rhythms. Okay, <clears throat> but good job, that was really great. Okay, so we're gonna do this again. Um, this time I do definitely want to have uh, you, you put rests in them, in them okay? So you didn't have to put rests in them this week. Um, it was just if you wanted to, but now um, we're definitely gonna do rests. Um, yes, Emma. You know what would be cool? What would be cool? I, I mean, it's weird too, that if you took two half notes and you used those and you tied them together, it would just make a whole note. Yep, that's true. There's two ways that you can draw whole notes. I mean, the easiest way would just to draw a whole note, but you could do two halves and tie them. <laughs> that would make a whole. <clears throat> and you can do that in your rhythm if this next week if you want. Okay, so we're gonna do another rhythm sheet. Hopefully you guys still have rhythm sheets because <laughs> we've been doing so many. So I hope you guys um, still have your more rhythm sheets to do. Um, okay, we're going to see if we can put the bottom hand to the first half of our amazing grace. Okay, so the bottom hand for this is just like um, in our honeydew arrangement, where we play all of our fingers except for the F, or I think I'm pretty sure it was in the top hand though. So with, um, in our honeydew, we had the chord in the top hand, but now we're going to switch it to the bottom hand. So it's the same pattern, but this time instead of being a four finger, it will be the two finger that doesn't get to play. Okay. So and you're going to go through your uh, normal chord progression for Amazing Grace that you are always new, right? From the very beginning of learning um, Amazing Grace. So the C, C, F, C, 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 G, F, that thing, right? You guys all, you guys remember that, right? If you don't remember the order of the chords, then you need to get your book one out. Because book one has the order of the chords in it. So, right here, this is the order of the chords. So get your book one out, page 17 in the reference book. Out. <clears throat> okay, so you wanna memorize that. You can just memorize it too. First half is C, C, F, C, 
CCGG. So there you go. <laughs> If you can remember that, CCFC, CCGC, I mean CCGG, <clears throat> then you got it. Okay, so we're gonna go C. <clears throat> um, every chord gets three. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. Okay, so what I'd like you guys to practice is doing that. So we're gonna, you're just gonna play the bottom hand and you're going to play the first two lines of this, okay? And remember, each one of these gets one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two. Okay? When you can play that, just give me a thumbs up and I'll have you just do the bottom hand for me. All right, go ahead, Liz. Okay, so just the bottom hand? Yeah. Yeah, okay. So. Okay, you want to try it, Corinne? Go ahead. Okay. <clears throat> Um, just the first half, so the first two lines. Okay. Yep, that was right. For some reason, it sounds funny. Are you playing these notes for the C? Are these notes you're playing? Are, are these the notes you're playing for the C chord? Can you play the notes individually that you're playing for the C chord? There you go. Is that what you're playing for? Okay, so that's what, that's what it should be. Okay, so there you go. Okay, so now what I want you to do is we're gonna play it again, but this time I want you to sing, you're gonna sing along with it. So, cause this is what's gonna help us put the top hand together. So, amazing grace, how sweet the sound that saved a wretch like me. Okay, that's as far as we're going to um, play or sing. Okay, you want to go ahead, Emma? Can you do that for me? Sing that far. Wait, both hands? Um, just playing the bottom hand and singing the amazing grace of sweet. Oh, let me move up an octave. Okay. Amazing grace of sweet, sweet the sound that saved a wretch like me. Yep, good job. That's perfect. Okay, Liz, and can you play, can you sing that for me? Uh-huh. Okay. Mm. Okay, there we go. <laughs> uh, may... Wait, is that the right key? Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's right. right. Um. Uh, may... Just gonna replace your voice with the top hand. 
or I guess the top hand was for the voice. Okay, so just pretend that this hand is your voice. So whatever you hear, you're gonna make it sing what you were just singing. Okay, and that's how you're gonna put it together. give it a try and then when you can play it give me a thumbs up all right go ahead Emma I meant to raise my hand can you say that one time it's really quiet on my device oh yeah sorry um <clears throat> so I'm gonna have you put both hands together now and you're just gonna replace the singing voice with the top hand okay Okay. So you can practice it a few times and then when you feel like you got it, you can give me a thumbs up and I'll have you play it for us. Okay. Okay, Corinne, go ahead. Um, I'll go after Emma because I didn't get to practice yet. So. Okay. I'm ready now if Emma isn't. Okay, go ahead. Okay. <clears throat> I'm ready. ready. I'm kind of ready. <laughs> okay. <laughs> um, I'm ready. Hmm? We'll have you go after, okay, Emma? Your turn. I didn't know you were ready, Emma. Sorry. <clears throat>
don't know what I know. What <laughs> I, don't know what, I like did it perfectly when I played it by myself. Can I restart? Um, it's okay. We're only doing the first half anyways. So you did the first half perfectly. So good job. Okay. Awesome. <clears throat> so what I'm going to have you guys do this week, um, well, we have a little bit more time, but what I'm going to have you guys do this week is um, do the same thing for the rest of the song because it should be pretty simple, right? Does that make sense how it works? So you should be able to just kind of piece it together. Um, as long as you can sing along with the bottom hand, then you should be good. If you can't, then it's going to be a little bit of a struggle. So <laughs> you'll want to really get that down. But you girls are pretty good at singing along with it. So, um, okay. So there we go. Let's look at our um, arrangements book. I think we might, well, besides a couple other ones. Okay. So we all really only have three more songs to do. Uh, yes, Crin. Okay, um, are we gonna do like the cool thing that happened this week or? Oh yeah, you guys can tell me what happened this week. <laughs> Sorry, I forgot to ask. What, what cool thing happened this week? <laughs> I lost a tooth. Oh, another one, wait. Or maybe it was somebody else that lost another a tooth. I remember saying that, hearing that. <laughs> That was you, Liz? Yeah. Cool. Do you get money from it or candy? <laughs> money, money. That's super cool. <clears throat> Congratulations. I'm all done losing my teeth. <laughs> There's no more to teeth to lose, hopefully. If I lose them, I don't get them back. Um, okay. Anybody else want to share something that they did cool? Um, well, today's my little sister's birthday. Oh. How old is she turning? Four. Aw, cute. How many siblings, other siblings do you guys have? Um, I have... There's seven of you guys, or you have seven more? <laughs> There's eight people. Well, okay. not people. Eight children. Oh, okay, people. got it. Oh, so I have... You um, have seven siblings, then, each of you do. Yeah. That's a lot. Whew. Your poor mother. <laughs> <That's> <laughs> I'm, I'm pregnant right now, so I can say that. <laughs> I'm the sixth you, child. You're the sixth child? Oh, so Liz, are you not the first then? Yeah, no, I, I'm number four. So. Oh, okay. Do you have older siblings that maybe are moved out already? Uh, yeah, my oldest sister has moved out. My um, next, the next oldest one is going to move out we hope soon i think soon um and <laughs> and then comes my uh the sister just older than me and she is um 16 so she's going to high school and um then comes me and i'm gonna go to high school soon that's crazy um <laughs> and then corinne and then emma and then ammon who is the only boy, and <laughs> only boy out of yeah. seven girls, uh -huh. and and he's mm, five now. No, he's six. oh, he's six. Wait, he's he six. turned seven in October. That's scary. Okay, <laughs> but and then comes Rachel, who is that's the birthday that we're celebrating. Oh, fun! Woo! That's exciting. You have to play her happy birthday. Woo! Woo! Learn how to do <laughs> Um, you guys know happy birthday, right? Did we learn that one already? You have to sing it to her. Did I not teach that one to you guys? I don't know. I I you might have, but we no, probably no, forgot it. You taught it to us. I you did. Really did. Well, so I didn't teach you the, the melody, but I would have taught you the chord. Happy birthday. Did I not teach yeah, you? Yeah, I, I, I didn't learn that. <laughs> Here, I'll send it to you guys, and you guys can teach me. Birthday. This is the chords. You guys will be able to play it just by looking at the chords. It's really easy. But it looks like this. Okay, so this is the chords. 
for half a birthday. And you know all these ones, you should know. And it's gonna be a ratio of one to three. So it's, ha it's happy birthday to you. So that little ending thing there, that, that works like the um, uh, Star Spangled Banner, where one, two, and then three is the little one, and then one, two, three. So I can email this to you guys. You guys have it. <clears throat> but um, yeah, I and mean, super easy. So you guys can all take turns singing to her happy birthday. And your starting note is like an Amazing Grace where it's, it's G. So you can say happy, play G, and that start so okay <clears throat> but anyways we have three more minutes so i'm just going to explain to you guys um <clears throat> the next the next two songs that we're gonna learn which you guys actually already basically know <laughs> so that's why it's gonna be really quick so bishop street blues arrangement one and two is the same thing for uh jackson blues arrangement one and two. So this I think it's one and two with Jackson Blues. You see what how they line up. So one dun, 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 dun. okay so yeah exactly it's exactly the same as yeah okay so to do Bishop Street Blues one and Bishop Street Blues two you're just going to play it as if you were doing um, Jackson Blues 1 and Jackson Blues 2, but you're going to change the top hand to being the Bishop Street Blues chords. So that's all it is. So it's going to be... Okay, so you're just going to do it like that. Um, then for number 2, it will sound like this. So does that make sense? How it works? Okay, so we can add those two on our playlist. Um, so <clears throat> as long as you remember what Jackson Blues 1 and Jackson Blues 2 does for the bottom hand, then you know what Bishop Street Blues 1 and 2 does for the bottom hand. Okay, so we have um, Bishop Street Blues Arrangement 1 and the Bishop Street Arrangement two. <clears throat> okay, we're almost done with our arrangements, which is pretty crazy. So after our arrangements, we're going to go to the next book, which is book four. Okay, so that's pretty exciting. I think I already sent your parents the book for it. Maybe I didn't. I'll have to double check and make sure I do that. <clears throat> um, but Okay, so the only other song we need to learn is, well, our Amazing Grace Arrangement 3 needs to be done. And then we have the last Jackson Blues song, which in my opinion is the hardest out of the whole book. So um, it might take us a while to learn that. But after you have that, then we're done with the arrangements. One. Um, okay, super cool. So we're gonna be moving on to book four and we're gonna be moving on to our note reading. Okay, so those are the two books that you guys need to make sure you get. I'll make sure that I sent an email. I'm pretty sure I did, but if I didn't, I will do it again. <laughs> so, um, okay, does anybody have any questions? Um, next week, I'll have you play for me the Bishop Street Blues 1 and 2, and then I'll have you play for me Amazing Grace 3. So make sure to practice those. Yes, Emma. The super hard one that we're going to learn soon, um, could you play it for us? Uh, yeah, I can. Also, remember your rhythm sheets. You have a rhythm sheet to do this week, too. <clears throat> um, and it's going to be, you have to have rests in it if you have any rhythm. Okay, here we go.
Oh. Yeah, it's really hard. <laughs> it like really hurts your brain. You'll find out as soon as we start doing it, there's a part that hurts your brain really bad. So, <clears throat> yeah. So my recommendation to prepare for this is to play the blues songs, the arrangement blues songs that you have already a lot so that you get really good because it's basically just doing and this one over and over again in different kinds of patterns. So if you have that down pretty good in your hands already, then it'll be easier. <laughs> easier. <laughs> but arrangement three, if you practice that one a lot, then arrangement four will be easier. But okay, any more questions before we end? Yes, let's. Uh, is that really hard when uh, uh, Bishop Street Blues A3? Uh, it's Jackson Four, Jackson Blues A Four. Do we still have um, Jackson Blues? Since I have no more questions or anything, I'm gonna leave because the device is about to die. Okay, sounds good. We'll see you later. So bye. Bye. All right, we'll see you guys next week. Bye.